Hey, it's Adrian from M. Crumley's Tech, and today I'm reviewing something um, pretty cool. It's a 3D printer. So it's the 10 log TL D3 Pro 3D printer, and you could see it's a pretty, pretty big box, pretty sizable. So this is um, an independent dual head 3D printer, meaning that you can print um, like a mirror object or also um, just like a, a duplicate, so you could print two at a time. So I'm just gonna go into the unboxing, um, the install process, and then we're gonna do a test print. All right, so let's get started. Okay, um, I've unpacked all the parts here. So I'm just gonna go through um, this assembly portion, all the wiring um, and see how it goes. Okay, so I've connected this gantry portion here to the main unit of the 3D printer, and I've also assembled um, these filament holders here. So there's one here, one here. Um, so the next step is now to do the wiring. So let's get into that. Okay, so now that everything is installed, I just want to go through um, just a couple of tips um, to consider when you're installing it. So what you have to do when you get it is um, this whole base here, it comes as one piece. And then this gantry um, assembly here, this is another piece that needs to be attached here. So if you look here, you can see um, this area here, right here there's two screws that go here um, and the screws go in from the underside here and it's the same on the other end so it's it could be a bit challenging to put the machine on the side um, and then screw it so what i found helps is if you move this off of a table you know a certain amount then you have access to the underside here and then you could screw the screws that way. So just um, another option if you're setting it up by yourself, um, that's an easier way to do it. The other thing is um, pay attention to these. Um, the E2 has to go on the right side and then the E1 is on the left side. And when you connect the, um, the cables here to the back of the machine, um, you know, you want to make sure it's the connector one, connector two correctly because that's how the machine kind of knows um, what it's doing in the menu settings so that you know you're actually adjusting settings for E1 and adjusting settings for E2 or you know nozzle 1 or nozzle 2 and then the when you're installing the holder for the PLA filament um, they, it comes with screws and a bracket here just make sure that bracket is facing um, vertical not horizontal that way it you know properly retains in this channel here. So other than that, um, once you set up the gantry to this, you know, you attach the nozzles, which are pretty easy. It comes with all the Allen keys and um, screws for that. And it does come with spares, which is nice. So once you attach um, the gantry to the base and then the nozzle and the um, filament holders, the only part left to do is the wiring, which is really simple. You can see everything is labeled here. So it has um, X2 and then these other ones, I believe are the Z2s. 
Z2. So everything is like really, um, really clear and detailed in the diagram uh, folder that it comes with. The other thing is before you turn it on, uh, just notice that there's a voltage switch here. So if you're in North America, you're going to want to keep that at, uh, I believe it's the 115. And then if you're in uh, Europe or other parts of the world, um, you, you'll have to switch it for your area. And then finally, you're ready to plug it in over here and then um, hit the switch to power it on. And that's basically it. From there, that's where you go into the menu, use um, the slicing software or just um, you know the G code that's already on the SD card for this specific printer. And then you can see here, you also have these adjustment knobs here and you have four of those, one on each side for leveling this um, hotbed here. All right, so before I start printing, what I'm doing is um, I'm going on the menu here and I'm doing the self-leveling. Um, so basically the um, nozzle head is just going to the four corners and then I have a piece of paper and there's adjustment knobs at the bottom of the bed and you could rotate that to um, fine tune. So I've done that for nozzle one and I'm just gonna do it for nozzle two. All right, I'm back and here is the first 3D print using the Tenlog TL um, D3 Pro. So you can see it's a really nice looking print. Um, the base looks good. You could see the detail on the hair, um, the ears, eyes, everything looks really good. So this is um, um, a G-code and STL file that came on the SD card with the printer. So I just use that. Um, they do give you like the download for the Cura software so that you could um, slice it as you want, but I just use the supply G-code file. I just put it in the root directory of the SD card, pop the SD card into the printer, and then I could print right from there. I didn't even have to go into the software really if I didn't want to, but that's just for printing reference files. So you can see like the print quality is really good. Um, you may not see it on camera, but like I mentioned at the start, this printer has two heads. Um, so I printed with the E1 head, which is where I have the white filament, but there's also an E2 head with yellow filament. So um, in my next video, I'm going to print using both heads. So I'm going to try to do like, it either lets you do a duplication mode or a mirror mode. So I'll probably go for the dupl duplication mode, print like one thing in white, one thing in yellow, and then see how that goes. So, so far, printer is running great. Um, I'm really pleased with the results, really happy. Um, so if you're interested, please stay tuned for the second part of this video. See you soon. Bye.